Hey guys! So today I am going to be doing a Valentine's inspiration eye makeup look or like face look. So I've already got my like natural everyday sort of makeup on. Or like the quick makeup sort of look on from school. So I'm just going to be adding on what to use to make like an inspiration. Uh, Valentine's inspiration next at the moment I've just got like foundation and stuff on so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do my eyeshadow because that's the most effective thing I think because it shows like the more colours and stuff let's get in to the video so the first palette I'm going to use is this palette it's called Revolution and it's flawless free I'll, I'll put all the names of all the products I use in the description below okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this small brush and get these purpley colors because valentine's you know is like purpley pinky colors and i'm going to Do that. It looks really bad at the moment, but like, obviously, I need to like blend and add more colour. It's quite hard because I'm doing it into the camera. I might need to get a mirror in a sec. Oh, wait, there's a mirror in here. I need to make sure I keep looking at that. Okay, so this one looks like this far, so it does not look like it good at all it looks like blobs of color but obviously i'm going to add in more colors and yeah add in more colors so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get like a really light color to put here because i want to do like some sort of like gradient effect i think that's the word i'm gonna get a little bit of concealer like Get a tiny brush. Use this brush. Just put a tiny bit on. And just if it's gonna work, so I'm gonna actually put concealer on it, but I don't think that's worked at all. Okay, it hasn't really worked, but I'm going to do it on this side as well, just to make it even. Why is it annoying me? So I've just found this white colour in here, so I'm going to use this white colour. This is still the same palette, and I'm going to use this white hair to put in the, like... So once that's done, it's, it's made it a lot lighter on the eye, and then, like... So then I'm just putting the white like halfway along my eyelid just to lighten. Also, I've got different backgrounds, so I've just changed like, angles and stuff because I want to be closer to the camera so you can see better. Because like, in my other videos, I'm like in different places of my room, but yeah. So I've done that, so now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use this palette to like look in the mirror. So it looks like this so far, but I'm gonna like. I've just smudged it a little bit. This is my eyes so far. I need to put a bit of concealer here because I just accidentally smudged a bit look, under there. So I'm just now applying concealer under here because much time normal. also i really recommend this concealer it's by collection and it's like four pounds it's called last imperfection it's so good i'm also going to be trying out the um revolution soon one soon hopefully because i've tried to buy it but it's like run my colors run out everywhere so hopefully i've got to but this 
This also makes the eye shadow look a lot sharper, which I quite like sometimes. It makes it look like it's got a really sharp line there. Went down the other side as well. Cause I feel I lie in bed. So I'm now just doing it on this side as well to make the line look a lot sharper. Okay, so I've now like sharpened those bits. Okay, so I really like that actually so far. I quite like that. I'm gonna go in with this pinky colour here. I, I've never actually used it, so I don't know if it's gonna work, but. So I'm just putting this in like the middle bit of my eye. Just to like, because it's like a bit dark, a bit lighter than the one I just done, and not too light. Okay, so that's like. Doesn't look that much different, to be honest. I'm also gonna put eyeshadow under here soon but I'm, I like to do the eye first and then do that okay so so far I've just used this color and white and then I've just used this in the middle so this eye is quite effective but it's only used three colors so far which I think is really good and I've, and I've used the same palette so I think I'm going to also use this color here just to Add a little bit of more pinky tone because it's quite purpley. Okay, so there. And so. This is what my eyes look like so far. I quite like it actually. I thought because I'm doing a video, it's going to mess up. But I'm quite liking it. What's annoying with me though, because I have glasses, when I wear an eyeshadow, you can hardly see it. Like, look at this. You can hardly see my eyeshadow right now. You can just see windows. Life struggles. Okay, so I think I might go in with this palette now. Revolution Fierce as Fire. As you can see, I've been using the Revolution ones, which I recommend so much because Revolution is such a good brand. But I have got other palettes with me. Like, I've got, like, so many here, but these Revolution ones are just so, like, good and they're so amazing quality and pigment that I I'm just I just love them. So I'm gonna use this this palette just for the mirror again. So I've just used this colour here. And then I'm gonna put that in like the inner bit of my eye. Like the middle bottom bit like here. Just to like it sort of lightens it a bit. I don't know why I've done that. This is what my eyes look like so far. I'm quite liking it actually. Like it's quite a nice pinky colours, purpley colours, which I don't do that often. I normally just go for neutral colours when I go out. But I might start wearing these sort of colours because I really like it. And like this is you like this is some sort of Valentine's -y look, you know, like because of the pinky and the purples and the reddish colours. Okay, so I'm now going to use the Flawless 4 palette, which is also Revolution, which I recommend so much. And I'm going to go in with this pink here. Just like, I'm just going to put it like there. And I'm now going to get, I'm going to, oh. I'm now going to mix all these three colours here together and do it under my eye. When I do it under my eye, it sort of unsharpens this line a bit, but I think it looks quite nice under the eye as well. I don't know, I just really like it. I'll just put myself in the eye. When you do do it under your eye, you have to make sure you don't leave like any gap. I'm now just gonna blend it like all together. Just 
just to make sure there's no like gaps or anything. I think I'm going to add like a more shimmer like in the in the inner corner bit because I quite like that look. And I have these really good. These really are really really good. So I think I'm going to mix the pink and the white together. I'm going to use this for the mail. Okay, so now I'm going to get... I don't actually really use these, but I found out they're quite helpful for the inner... Like, the right inner corner. So I'm going to get the white and just put some there and just... I quite like the look of the inner corner stuff. And I recommend this palette so much to anyone. Like it's called Fierce as Fire. I got it I got it like free because I bought two palettes and like I got it free and it's it's really really good. I recommend it a lot. So Okay, so this is the look. I'm now gonna do some face. I'm gonna put like some highlight lipstick. I'm gonna put some powder on my face quickly because it feels quite weird. Okay, so the highlight I'm gonna use is this. Um, I haven't used it in literally ages, so I don't know if it's gonna work, but let's just do it anyway. Okay, so. I don't know what brush I'm going to blend this in with, oh gosh, um, maybe this one, so I'm going to now get this mirror just to look. Okay, so I've just put that on, and I think that's actually really... That's quite good. Going to do lipstick. I've just got a few colours here. I've got these different colours. And I think I'm going to go with this colour first. This is just by Revolution. As you can tell, I like Revolution. And I'm going to put it on the outsides of my mouth. So, like... Okay, so I've done that, and now what I'm going to do is get this lighter pink colour. I'm not sure if it's going to work. Brush to blend them. Oh no. I'm just put a little bit of concealer here because it's just gone a little bit red now. Okay, so this is how my lips are. I use two different colours, these two colours, they're really good quality and they're only, I think they're only like a pound. I think I'm going to put a little bit of powder highlight quickly because it's just on top just to make sure it's like all. This highlight is really good as well, I recommend it so much. It's also my revolution and it's a rainbow highlight. Just... Okay so I think this is my finished look. I quite like it actually. Yeah quite like it I'm quite proud of the lips actually because like I don't feel it's gonna work all the names for the products that I have used I'll put in the description below most of it is revolution as you can tell because like their makeup is actually amazing it's so underrated I don't understand like hello oh, mascara as I forgot which I always forget I'm stupid. Okay, so I've now put on mascara and I actually really like how my makeup's turned out. If you enjoyed, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and let me know if you want me to do any more videos like this in the future as I really enjoyed doing this. Yeah.